Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. Something serious that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I've talked openly about my mental health, depression, anxiety, things like that, the medications that I'm taking, what I do to try to prevent things from happening. And I, I'm pretty open with you guys, and I tell you a lot, but there's something that I haven't told you, and... I feel like I've almost been lying to you guys, and I, I, it feels bad. So <clears throat> earlier this month, I attempted to take my own life, and what I did is I took some pills and drank some alcohol and went to sleep and hoped that I didn't wake up. And luckily I did, and... I told, I've only told three people about it. I told my friend Will, I told Roger, and I told my friend Sean. And all of them were really supportive of me and, you know, <clears throat> were very sweet about it. This is not the first time that I've thought about it. Um, back in January, when I went to the beach by myself, my plan was to end my life. And I was lucky that my friend Sean came to hang out with me. He could tell that something was wrong. And... I've been thinking a lot about why I would do something like that because I know the pain that suicide can cause. Um, one of my cousin's dads committed suicide and their mom wasn't able to be there for them and so my mom and dad were there for them and <clears throat> it, it, it's hard. It's a... It's a real stark reminder that, you know, people are precious and life is precious. And I feel really guilty about it. But in the last, like, two weeks, I've really worked through some stuff. And I've, I've come to realize, like, I can't be everything to everyone. And that, that's where this all stemmed from, is I never feel like I'm good enough. I never feel like I'm worthy of people's friendship or love or admiration. And I never feel like I give enough. And I never feel like I am present enough for people. And so, this, this feeling of inadequacy took over my brain, and I just couldn't get it to go away. And I tried talking to the doctor to see if my medication could be changed <clears throat> and they didn't think that was a good idea and so they suggested therapy and that's fine except I can't get an appointment for six weeks six weeks and we've talked about this before but like six weeks to someone who is this far deep into depression is the difference between life and death and it was for me and so, after doing that and talking to, you know, a couple people about it, I really sat down and thought, <sighs> I sat down and thought, why do I feel this way? And... It's not pressure that anyone else has put on me. It's, it's all self-inflicted pressure. And 
I've been thinking a lot about how I cannot put that pressure on myself. I put so much emphasis on making things perfect and making sure that everyone around me is happy that my own happiness falls to the wayside. And so I'm learning to be selfish and I'm learning that I can say no and I'm learning that I don't have to be everything to everyone. I don't have to be the perfect sister, the perfect employee, the perfect wife, the perfect girlfriend, the perfect daughter. I don't have to be that. And I don't have to apologize for not being that. And that's what I'm learning. And so I wanted to tell you guys about this because I know there's a lot of you out there that struggle with depression and you struggle with anxiety and not being able to handle your own life. And it's a really shitty feeling. It's, it's difficult to deal with. And talking to other people is really helpful. And reaching out to friends is really helpful. And I'm glad that I did, and I'm glad that the few people that I talked to about it were able to make me see that I don't have to be that way. And I think Roger was the one that really kind of pushed the issue over the edge for me. Is I was talking about it, and I was telling him that I just don't feel like I'm ever enough for anyone, and that I'm not good enough, and I'm not smart enough, and just never enough of anything. And he goes, honey, you've always been that way. You've always thought you weren't enough, and I always told you you were. And it, it's true, he always did. And it just made me realize that I put too much pressure on myself to be enough for everyone else when I'm not enough for myself. So. I feel like if I'm going to continue to put myself out there and <clears throat> be a positive influence on, you know, the people that watch my channel, and the people that have come to be my friends that I've I've met on the internet that have come to be my friends and who I've come to cherish so close to my heart if I'm going to be the best friend that I can be for them I need to be the best thing for myself <laughs> so I'm I'm working on myself and this has nothing to do with my body image. I know, like, I knew making this video that that would come up in the comment section. Oh, she hates herself. I don't hate myself. It's this self... Pre it's, it's putting all this pressure on myself to be perfect when no one's meant to be perfect. Like, our flaws are kind of what makes us unique and... That's what makes us special. And I preach, like, loving yourself and, you know, being happy with who you are. And that's why I feel like I'm kind of a fraud. And while I feel that way, I don't always feel that way. And some of you guys noticed at that time that I wasn't myself, especially Sue. <laughs> Sue's been watching from almost the very beginning, and she knows my moods so well. It it amazes me that that woman knows me so well. So, Sue, especially, thank you for being a dedicated, you know, watcher and 
always having something positive to say, even if you don't like the video. Even if it's not your thing. You always have something positive to say. And that's the kind of person that I want to come across to you guys. But I have to be honest that I struggle with things. And I struggle with... It's part... It's self-image. But it's not body shaming or body positivity or body negativity. It's about feelings that I have inside. And... I just, I, I want, I don't want any of you to think that you can't talk to me. So if you're feeling bad, or if you're having a hard day, reach out. Reach out to me, reach out to the community, reach out to the candy community, reach out to family, reach out to friends. The Facebook group on the, the Candy Community Facebook group is an amazing group of women that are so supportive of each other. And you can just, one of the ladies yesterday said, I'm having a bad day. It's just a bad day. I can't pinpoint what's going on. I'm just having a bad day. And I just needed to talk about it. And there was no less than 20 different people commenting, hey, if you need to talk, I'm here. Hey, you're beautiful. Don't forget that. And it's an amazing community. And as much as I am, as much as I, you know, kind of stay out of everything, I do watch that and it, it makes me happy and I'm glad that I'm a part of it. So, I'm glad I got that, that off my chest. I've been meaning to talk about that for a couple weeks and I wanted to almost make light of it and, you know, make it into almost like a parody of a news show and I, I mentioned that to Lou and to Will. And both of them were like, uh, I don't know. And so I went back to the drawing board and I thought, me talking to the camera is probably the best way to do this. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for always being supportive. Thank you for starting discussions with each other and just being great. And if, again, if you're having trouble, if you're thinking about suicide, there's some information down below. And, you know, you can reach out to suicide prevention groups, or you can reach out to me. And I will do my best to talk to you and figure out what's going on and try to help. I'll talk to you guys soon.